Slango, 23rd March 2017. The stray animals of Slango are blessed with the support and the participation of Juli Yang Mahamulya Tengku Permaisuri Slango Tengku Permaisuri Nurashikin as the royal patron for Stay Free Slango SFS, the human and compassionate bee. Let's come together to make Stray Free Slango a reality. Hopefully, this campaign will be a platform to spearhead a whole nation of campaign of Stray Free Malaysia, she said. Also present during the launch were Sultan Slango, Sultan Sharafuddin Idris Shah, Raja Muda Slango, Tengku Amir Shah, Sultan Sharafuddin Idris Shah, Menteri Besar Slango, Datuk Sri Mohamad Azmin bin Ali, and Slango SBC patron, Tan Sri Lilam Thai. Slango will be the first state in Malaysia to work towards an effective yet compassionate stray control program. According to Christine Sheen, the chairman of SPC Slango, in sowing seeds of kindness and compassion to its animals, they are also sowing seeds of kindness and compassion to its human beings. The impetus of Straight Free Slango SFS, the human and compassionate way, is to be working towards a radical change in the way municipal councils handle strays. Catch and kill is ineffective because every time an area is cleared of stray dogs, a vacuum is created. New strays will inhibit the vacuum and vicious cycle continues. There is also a proposal to create caring and compassionate communities CCC for safe zones where speed or neutered stray animals. Community animals can live a life free from misery and capture. The CCC be guided by SPCE guidelines and communities that are interested to embrace the caring and compassionate concept. Feeders must be educated on being responsible feeders by catching the strays they feed, spay and neuter them without subsidized vouchers. Menteri Besar Datuk Azmin Ali said the state would support them by ensuring that all local councils are educated on the importance of spaying and neutering animals plus understanding the correct procedures. It's a good initiative to teach people their pet owners and about animal welfare. We should all have more compassion towards animals and slango should take the lead, he said, adding in the method for small human. Annual awards will be given to municipal councils which make the progress towards state free slango SFS the human and compassionate way. Slango SPC Chairman and Campaign Co-Chairman Christine Sheen Rapid said the campaign would be successful with public support and cooperation from the local authorities. If you find a stray dog or cat in your area, you can help by feeding them, capturing them and taking them to one of our panel vets to be spayed. SPCA will subsidize the cost. For cats, we will cover 80% of the fee and for dogs, we will cover half of the bill. Spaying and neutering will control the population of strays in the neighborhood and improve their chances of being rehomed. She said, adding that Slango SBC received about 60 strays a month but could only rehome about 40. Lee said the spay and release method was in line with the Animal Welfare Act 2015 that was gazetted on December 29, 2015. Throughout the campaign so far, SBC has raised RM 170,000 ringgit from sponsors and donors, including the Slango State Government, Yayasan Raja Muda, and platinum sponsor Roberts and Rembrandt's. SPC and the Slango State Government would like to extend its sincere appreciation to all the sponsors without whom the program wouldn't be possible and not to forget the media on their extensive coverage on this event. Together we shall make this happen and hopefully it shall be implemented throughout the nation into the love of animals and combating stress issues in a more human way.